Are you sick of net cups and Rockwell? Let's make some pox. So apologies for the um, peeping sound behind me. Uh, we've recently got some ducklings and they now live under the NFT system. Now, the main reason that I started making videos about hydroponics is that I wanted to make hydroponics accessible to everyone and budget friendly to everyone. So Rockwool may not seem expensive. Likewise, net cups and the foam that fills the net cups. But if you're trying to be productive in producing your own fruits and vegetables, um, adding 50 cents roundabouts per rock wall cube is a not insignificant cost involved with um, each individual plant that you try to grow. So to make the whole process more budget friendly, I tried to come up with an idea that would allow me to reuse a substrate that could hold the plants in place within the NFT system um, and allow me to move from seed through to NFT rail uh, without the use of anything purchased except for the initial cost of the material that I needed to make uh, the substrate that it was holding the plant. So my answer to that problem was these. Now, uh, these are just foam pucks that fit within a circular hole cut in the top of the NFT system. Um, and the foam is relatively inexpensive and reusable as well. The way that I made these was I cut circular holes, 90 millimeters in jigsaw foam rubber, which is just um, floor matting that you can get from any hardware store, and then cut those circles into crosses, essentially, with a slit down the middle. Now, when they are placed in the NFT system's holes, they hold the plant upright and sturdy until such time as uh, it has a decent root base, which will then hold itself in place. For the NFT system, I used a 64 millimeter hole saw, and for the puck system, I used a 90 millimeter hole saw, and that leaves you with a good fit, like so. This system also allows for the use of a standard sized pool noodle um, as support for larger plants, um, as you can wrap the noodle around larger plants that need more support once they are large enough and use the pool noodle as support for the base of the plant. So this is a good example right here. Um, the other day I had a storm and this uh, jalapeno plant fell over in the storm. So now to correct it, I'm going to install this pool noodle around the outside um, at the base so that it has some support. Now we'll remove the pucks. I've double pucked this because um, I thought that the double puck would be enough. It was a big storm. Now we can just install the pool noodle around the outside of the plant. And that's how you can support a plant if it's going to fall over in your system. Alrighty, so I'll show you the system that I move from seed through to NFC channel. The reason why so many people use rock wool is because it's a fantastic way to start seeds. Um, I'm not disputing that at all. 
It has a great water to oxygen ratio and provides seeds a pretty ideal starting medium. Now, if you still want to use rock wool to start the propagation of your seeds, by all means, do that. But with this method, you can start multiple seeds in the same rock wool cube and not have to sacrifice multiple seedlings just because you only want one seedling in that rock wool cube. You can pluck out the seedlings and transplant them into your propagation pucks. So your propagation pucks simply look like this. So to pluck out your seedling and start it in your propagator, you take your seedling, put it into your puck, close the puck and place the puck into your propagator. From there, the seedling grows and we move on to the next stage. Now, if you wanna completely eliminate rock wool altogether, you can use a propagation dome with some form of netting on the bottom of it and putting your seeds directly into water or a slight nutrient solution will allow the seeds to rehydrate and they will snake up through the netting and then you can pluck them straight out of that and then put them into your propagation pucks. Now, with my propagation container, I've moved to a passive system um, that can't fail even if um, the air pump fails. So it's not passive due to the air pump, but if the air pump fails, it doesn't kill all of my seedlings. To move from the propagation pucks to the system pucks, all you do is take your ready seedling out and after a while the seedlings will have developed long roots that will now easily travel along your NFT system. We remove it from the propagation park, pop it into our system park. and you have a seedling that's ready to go into your NFT system. Now, to place the seedling into the NFT system, all we do is feed the roots along so that the water takes them down the channel. And pop the seedling in and it's held upright by the puck. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hutos. I hope my system can help you save money on your NFT hydroponic system, or if you have any other implementations for the system. Um, I really enjoy using it, uh, and I hope you do too. So have fun. Happy hydroponicking.